in this video we will be discussing about very basic if else statements coming to if else statements it is a conditional statement which is used for decision making let's say this is a syntax here we need to give a test expression for which if it is true it will enter to the statement and this statement will execute but here don't forget to put this colon after this we need to give indentation or we can say four spaces to this so when this condition is true it enters to the statement otherwise it will not execute if it is in c or c++ there will be like if there will be some test expression and there will be a block of code which need to execute if it is true otherwise there will be a else statement and this will execute so instead of this we will be using colon in python for indentation we have a beautiful slide over here where it is in it is used to indicate the block of code in python you must indent each line of the block by small amount of space like if there is if statement over here it will end here with same spaces so there will be a same space if it is if it will open here it will end over here now after this let's go to pycharm to execute this if statement so for this our first program will be check whether number is even or not so here first what we'll do first we will assign a is equal to 35 that means 35 has been given to a variable and then we need to check whether 35 is divisible by 2 or not modulo stands for remainder so here if it is 0 the number it will be even but if it executes if it is true then it will this statement will execute if it is false then it will come out of the if statement but this is the if this is the statement which will always execute so here i have given a is equal to 35 35 is divisible by 2 equal to 1 it will be but it is not zero so this statement will not execute so here it will come to this statement let's see this if i run this statement by going to run yeah i can see this number will always print because this number won't be executing here now here if i give 36 which is a even number so what will happen number is even that means this statement is true that's why it is this statement is executing as well as this will also execute now what if if i give instead of this just a zero what will happen let's see run that means this statement will never enter to this because zero and false is always taken here as false in python zero false and none instead of zero now if i give none here let's see what happens see then also it will take it as false so this will won't be executing if we are giving zero false none this is the unique feature in python whereas if i give one or minus one here this will be taken as true 
so this number is python so here we need to take care everything taken as true except zero false and none this will always give a false this might be different from other programming language now if i go to see if statement is of three types first is simple if other one is multi if and third one is nested if so for this i will go to conditional if which has this is executing multi if statements where we have if in fact three times so here when we see num1 is equal to 5 num2 is equal to 7 num3 is equal to 8 so it is asking for largest number so here if 5 is greater than 7 no 5 is greater than 8 no so it won't be executing so here it will go 7 is greater than 5 yes 7 is greater than 8 no so this will also not at last it will go to this and it will print this one num3 and here it will come to greatest which is num3 now instead of multi if if i like to give here let's delete this first here i can give elif and here i can give else so this is the most benefit point because this is the last thing where if num1 will not be greatest num2 will not be greatest and three numbers are there obviously num3 will be the greatest so it won't be execute it won't be taking the num3 value so here just if elif and else and elif stands for else if let's see whether it will work in this case or not the greatest of all is 8 that means it is working for this case also next next is nested if so let's see what is nested if now here we have given a number 30 and here if number is smaller than 0 it will go to this if if number is 0 then it will go to 0 if it is not 0 that already uh, this is obvious that it will be a negative number otherwise else it will go to positive number so make sure you can see here there is a indentation here if if it is not there again an indentation else again an indentation and here it will come out because if is for this else if is for this else so it is completely following our slide which i have shown earlier this block slide hope if else statement is clear to you If you have any doubt in this please ask me in the comment section below thank you